if you are a guy that really needs to be among people to really get energized and be really happy, then you might be an extrovert. And here is a list of five fragrances that would be perfect for you if you are an extrovert, if you are that personality type. So three, two, one, let's do this. My name is Monica and on this channel we talk about fragrances so if you're interested in fragrances subscribe to this channel I see you there so please subscribe and let's get on with this list of extroverted loud fragrances these are perfect for you first one I would say office for men is definitely an extroverted fragrance this fragrance is loud this fragrance lasts for 12 hours plus and it projects like crazy this the sillage on this the projection the scent bubble whatever you want to call it is amazing it smells super badass super versatile for everyday masculine just it, you want to talk to people when you wear this because you want to be smelled. You want people to come over and say, hey, what are you wearing? What kind of fragrance? It's a confident fragrance. Many extroverts, they are you know, confident amongst crowds. They want to like, talk to people, laugh. This is definitely that sort of fragrance. You'll give off extroverted vibes without no problem. Uh, when, for example, my husband comes home after like 12 hours of work or like anything like that, he will smell so strong that I'll know that he is in the house before even seeing him. So this is how strong this fragrance is. The best uh, fragrance one fragrance for me personally. The second fragrance that is an absolute beast is a Fahrenheit from Dior, another designer fragrance that is so masculine. To me, extroverted fragrance and masculine fragrances are similar in a way. Um, you're looking for something that is just very assertively confident and this fragrance I love how um, just masculine because of the leather note it is it also has a weird cucumber note which is so fun and refreshing I think so it's not only like you know a man that maybe like is working somewhere um, in a, with a car I think that scent is that fragrance for me like a very masculine almost like a car you know like those sort of like car parts smell that sort of leather scent for me that fragrance is um, and then a refreshing uh, cooling note too this fragrance is also quite loud quite present it's very known so i feel like with this one too uh, people will come up to you they'll know that you smell great and they'll be like are you wearing dual fahrenheit because it's quite known but it's good and I have no problem with this one. Some fragrances if they're too, too popular I don't recommend them but this one it's just so good you must check it out. Next fragrance is do, 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 Versace Eros. This fragrance is a clubbing fragrance uh, it is a clubbing king <laughs> like Jeremy says and it's a sweet loud fragrance I would say this is maybe on the spectrum of like masculinity maybe the other fragrances are more like masculine every day this is a sweeter version of a really extroverted loud fragrance it's got mint in there it's got vanilla it's a bit fruity also it's just a badass scent that women absolutely love and want to be around and i don't blame them because wow oh, it's a bit powdery it's fresh it's deep this you'll be smelled and you'll cut through the other scents in the room you'll be just this extroverted guy that is wearing Versace ears and look at the bottle the bottle is also quite loud and I would say extroverted like Versace come on like gold 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 everywhere next fragrance is Club de Nuit Intense I have to mention this one this is a Creed Aventus dupe but it's also a great standalone fragrance this is a boss this is a CEO fragrance uh, a guy that is really into business maybe working in finance uh, something like that the bottle is oh, 
horrible horrible please i'm gonna have to change the bottle because this is definitely does something else um it's extroverted i would say that so maybe it just fits the whole vibe but i think it's a bit too much um but i'm an introvert so what do, what do i say uh, anyway this fragrance will get you compliments in no time it's also a great everyday scent it lasts longer than creed aventus the scent is 99% the same it's just a bit more harsh on the opening but i think that's what makes it even more extroverted you know uh, every time that you wear this fragrance you'll probably be stopped on the street and asked what you're wearing so it's perfect for you because you extroverts you want to talk to people you want to actually uh, get to know random people on the street and strike up a conversation so why not wear a fragrance that will do that for you and another fragrance is roja aoud from the harrods collection this fragrance is for somebody who is an extrovert but also can put on that more quieter uh, side i think it's like a cross i think i think it's called ambivalent or something um ambi something you guys know probably what I mean. Uh, this fragrance, it's an oud fragrance, but it's a juicy oud fragrance. When I spray it, it's just magical. Mm. Let's spray it. Wow. I just have no words. It's so opulent and strong, but so fresh, spicy just the highest quality if you are an extrovert that wants to spend a lot of money on a fragrance you want to smell unique you don't want to take any bull from anybody this is that sort of a fragrance you'll smell rich you'll smell extroverted uh, but at the same time you'll be kind of not too extroverted that you will put people off because I feel like this fragrance is still a bit approachable. This is like a luxe guy that is an extrovert but still wants to talk to people. He is not like this snobbish guy that just wants to sit in the corner and only uh, talk to a select few people. This is a person that is a friendly, friendly extrovert with a lot of cash. And this kind of also this fragrance smells like the Harrods uh, whole department store for me when I walk in. So it brings back those rich, beautiful memories of Harrods. If you've never been, you need to check it out. Anyway, what are your picks? What would be your picks for an extroverted personality type? Let me know if you guys watching it, are you an extrovert? Did you click on this video because you are an, an extrovert? Or maybe you are an introvert and you just wanted to check what fragrances I would recommend for them. Let me know down in the comments. I'll also link all the fragrances down below and subscribe, like this video. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.